Hey guys, check this out. So this is a 2022 Fender Ultra Lux Tele. This is the model that's like the Ultra. It came with noiseless pickups, but the Ultra Lux has stainless frets. It has the matching trans surf green headstock. And I wasn't loving the noiseless pickups. They were indeed noiseless. They were musical. They just seem to lack some of that punch, some of the twang, some of that ballsy, round, classic Fender twang uh, that I know and love. So I put a set of Lawler pickups in it. I have, and by the way, I still have the um, pickup cover is off because I'm playing with the pickup heights. So that's what it looks like. It's actually routed for a metal pickup and even routed with a space for a humbucker. But in fact, I have a Lawler Royalty in the neck and the Lawler J Street Bridge pickup, which is pretty hot. I think it's a 9K pickup. I also put in an RS Guitar Works control panel. Their control panel has all CTS pots, Switchcraft switch, um, great components. They use their RS Guitar Works branded capacitor. I don't remember what the um, construction is, but it's a .047 cap. And their pot is what they call a super pot. It's a 280K super pot on the volume pot. So I also upgraded from the nines that came on the guitar to tens. I felt like it needed just a little more meat and I'm really happy with what I'm getting. So I want to showcase what it's sounding like now. So I'm plugged into a car rambler. Here's the neck pickup position. Let's hit the bridge with some drive. 
bit. And then... Uh,
I did much of a demo of this guitar before making those changes, for me, stepped way, way up. I am super impressed. These are uh, D'Addario NYXLs, 10 to 46 strings. They're brand spanking new, so if some of it was a little trebly or bright, uh, I just put them on, like before making this video. Um, so I will get the, um, the pick guard. Let me see if I can... Oh, my goodness. Here we go. So this is a beautiful tortoise shell pick guard. Matches that tortoise shell binding. And um, this is the Fender Ultra Lux. So the guitar is great stock. For those of you who want more of a classic sound, you can get that. I also have a Callaham bridge, a modern bridge with brass saddles and even a steel, steel ENA uh, saddle if I want to try and get it even a little bit more classic. But I'm pretty happy where it is now. And with these saddles i'm told they're plated brass so i'll have to double check that if you guys know please let me know um, but of course with six saddles you can intonate the guitar just perfectly so uh, i may leave it as is what do you guys think i welcome your comments if you're new to the channel please let me know what you think um, by the way um locking tuners this is one of my first experiences with those they're super easy to use stainless frets um, polyurethane a satin finish on the back of the neck so it's super smooth the heel and uh, you can see the belly cut so I know there are purists that don't like any of that sculpting on a telly but I have classic tellies there's a 63 in the background and I'll, I'll do a comparison to that so I've got the stock classic telly um, so this being a contemporary inspiration or interpretation of that it's also by the way it's 22 frets so I know I'm throwing a lot at you, um, but it really came around. What do you guys think?